Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. Today I'm just taking you along with me for the day, not doing a day in the life or anything like that, just sharing with you, taking you along, sharing with you the food that I'm eating through the day and sharing the points and calories. As always, I appreciate the thumbs up on my videos and if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to be part of the family. So today I'm actually starting my day with coffee. A lot of times I will have just something little in the morning before I drink my coffee, but I'm pretty hungry right now. Because if you can see the time on my clock, it is 9.20 in the morning and I literally just woke up. So I'm making my coffee right now. I used to use the Coffee Mate creamer, but I have switched since I started getting these Tarani syrups for the creamy. So I have some vanilla and some classic caramel. So since I've been getting those, I've just been putting a little splash of those in my coffee. And then I use the fat-free half and half. For this, you can have six tablespoons for a point. So I don't usually use six tablespoons in one cup, but I do have two cups in the morning. So before I was counting my coffee as two points in the morning, now I can count it as just one. So I don't normally weigh this every day because I always have less than the amount. So two tablespoons is 30 milliliters. So you could actually have 90 milliliters for the one point. So two tablespoons is also 25 calories. So I know the most calories would be 75. This is zero points and zero calories. So I usually have right around 40 in each cup. And then I'm gonna do the vanilla today, just a splash of it. And then it kinda is like French vanilla coffee creamer. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of the monk fruit sweetener in it. And that's my first cup of coffee. So like I said, I'll end up having two of these. So since I used 80 milliliters, I count it as set like 70 calories. So one point and 70 calories. And usually I have something to eat before my coffee, just something little, but this morning I'm feeling kind of hungry since it's so late. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my breakfast now. All right, I'm starting my breakfast off with zucchini, which a lot of you know I love pan searing some zucchini for breakfast or sauteing it, I guess you say. I just spray a pan with some cooking spray and dice up the zucchini. Just put a little bit of Lowry seasoning salt on it. Janie, thank you for the recommendation. I am definitely gonna try the way you make it. Janie said that she slices the zucchini into rounds and then puts it in a pan, lets it brown, flips it over and then adds the eggs and makes kind of like an omelet. So I'm definitely gonna try that. So I found this bread at uh, Aldi. It's marble rye bread. This is really good. It is two points for one slice. And then if you have two slices, it becomes five, but I'm just doing one slice and it's 90 calories. If you like rye bread, you're gonna love this. It's really hearty and really soft and then I have 35 grams of avocado chunks oh my dog sneaks <laughs> my dog sneezing in the background I have 35 grams of avocado chunks these are just ones that I get from Aldi and then I'm just gonna put that on there so you can have 35 grams of the avocado for one point and then I'm gonna top that with this salt free dash everything but the salt it's basically like bagel seasoning I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on there. And then I have scrambled up two eggs with a tablespoon of bacon bits. So I'm just gonna top it with that. So the eggs are zero and the bacon bits is one point for the tablespoon. And then I'm gonna be topping that with some feta cheese. I use the Imperium, it's Imperium traditional feta from Aldi. And then what I do is just take the whole block. It comes in a whole block and then I just go through and cut it into 16. So then I pretty much know that each piece is a half an ounce or one point. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. And then I'm also having a mandarin orange. So the entire breakfast is five points and about 410 calories. And if you're watching protein, which I do watch that just at the recommendation of my doctor, I just try to shoot for 100 grams of protein a day or somewhere around there. Uh, but this is 26 grams of protein. But if you're new to my channel, I always say, please don't follow or copy what other people eat. We all have different dietary needs. We all have different DNA and our, my needs may be completely different from yours. So these what I eat in a day videos should just be meant as a guide or kind of like inspiration for things that you can make yourself. So I'll come back and share with you whatever I have yet next. Not sure if it'll be a snack or lunch. So I'm having my carrots. I pretty much have these <laughs> every single day. These are, it's probably, I don't know, about a cup of carrots. 
And then in here I have a tablespoon of the Bolt House Farms ranch dressing. That is my favorite to have with the carrots. So for this, it's one point and 25 calories. And then I think the carrots, a cup of carrots is like 50 calories. And then I'm also gonna have another mandarin orange. These little ones are so many. I weighed them, I actually took the skin off one and weighed them and they're only about 20 calories. So zero points, 20 calories. So all in all here is about 100 calories and one point. All right, so I am having, I guess you could call this my lunch. I'm not gonna have a big lunch today. That breakfast was huge, it filled me, and we're gonna be eating dinner fairly early tonight. So, and we're having baked potato, and when we have baked potato, I really like to load it up. So I'm having, this is some fat-free cottage cheese, so if you follow me, you know that my favorite cottage cheese is the good culture, but I have really been incorporating fat-free cottage cheese in with other things. I don't like it plain by itself, but mixed in with other things, I like it. And this is something that, I have recently discovered by accident. So the other day I was having some cottage cheese and I was also having some salsa. This is fresh cut salsa that I get from Aldi. So I was having it together and it kind of accidentally mixed together and I really like it that way. So then I started mixing it together on purpose. So just put the salsa in there, mix it in with the cottage cheese. I know a lot of you are like, ew, gross, but it is, it's really kind of weirdly good. All right, now I'm going to tear out my scale. Now I'm going to take these corn tortilla chips. They're the blue corn tortilla chips. One thing I used to love was Doritos dipped in cottage cheese. So it didn't sound funny to me, so that's how I accidentally came across this because I had these corn chips and I thought, oh, I wonder if these would taste good dipped in cottage cheese. So I started dipping them in cottage cheese, but I also had some salsa on the side and it kind of mixed together and I realized that I actually liked it that way. So for these, you can have an ounce for four points. I'm gonna have two points worth, so I'm gonna scan and see how much I can have for two points. All right, I'm gonna have 19 grams for two points. All right, so that's gonna be like my lunch. So this is gonna be it's zero points for the cottage cheese, zero points for the salsa, and two points for the chips. And for calories, it's it'll be 95 for the chips. The salsa is going to be probably about, with how much I use, I would say maybe 15 calories. So that's 110 plus 80 for the cottage cheese, so that's 190 calories. So that's two points and 190 calories. All right, it's time for dinner. And for dinner tonight, I'm doing the slow cooker barbecue meatloaf. If you watched the most recent meal prep video that I did, you may have seen that I prepped that. So I'll link the meal prep video down below. So if you wanna see how to put this together. Now the recipe, I'll also link the recipe down below, but the recipe calls for just using regular turkey breast and that's zero points. But for this one, I did do a little bit half and half. I did a half a pound of ground turkey breast and then a pound of the 93% ground turkey. So that did increase the points by a little bit. So for the meatloaf alone with the topping is five points and about 188 calories. And then with the meatloaf tonight, I'm having a big baked potato and this is going to be a loaded baked potato. So my dinner tonight is going to be more points than I normally would have. It ends up coming out to 14 points and 528 calories with 45 grams of protein. But you're going to see I only eat half of the potato. So I end up taking some of that off. So I have a five ounce potato. So for a five ounce potato, it's three points. And then I'm sprinkling that with a half an ounce of that feta cheese. And then I also have a half an ounce of feta cheese on my salad. So in my salad, I have some green olives, tomato, some cucumber in there, spring mix, and then the feta. I'm also gonna use some bacon bits. I have just these bacon bits that I get from Aldi. 
So for these, you can have half a tablespoon for zero points or 13 calories. So that's what I'm using there. Then I'm gonna add some sour cream to it. So I'm just using this Daisy Light Sour Cream. And for this kind, you can have two tablespoons or 30 grams for two points and 35 calories. But first I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you just wanted to use one point worth of the sour cream. So one point would be 15 grams and that's what that looks like. But for me, I'm gonna use the whole two tablespoons, two points and 30 grams. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of black pepper and also some green onions. I've just chopped up some green onions. I'm gonna to top those with it as well. So the total for my entire potato ends up being six points and 226 calories. So you definitely could lower the points if you wanted, just depending on the toppings that you use. And then for my salad, I decided to use the Olive Garden Light Italian dressing for this. It's 30 calories or one point for two tablespoons. Two tablespoons is 32 grams. So I'm just gonna put my salad on my scale and weigh out the 32 grams. And I don't necessarily use the full 32 grams. I just kind of put what I want on there and then if it seems like enough then I just stop. So as you can see here I only ended up using 25 grams. So that's going to be one point for the salad dressing. So my salad alone ends up being three points just because I had a point for the half an ounce of feta, a point for the dressing, and one point for the olives. And then it ends up being about 140 calories for the salad. And then for my meatloaf and potato, like I said, it's five points for the meatloaf and that includes that sauce. And then, which I just got on my finger. And then for the potato, like I said, six points for the potato. So it ends up being three points for my salad and then 11 points for the meatloaf and potato. And as you can see, <laughs> I only ate half of the potato. That was so much. I knew when I was putting it together, like this is gonna be way too much just because that salad alone is a lot. So for half the potato, I removed three points and 113 calories, just reduced it by half. So that ended up making my entire dinner be about 11 points and 415 calories. Has anybody used this? It's called a potato express. I just use these. I really like baked potatoes like in the oven, like the flip. Excuse you, my dog just burped. So these are to make baked potatoes in the microwave. I honestly really like the flavor of the skins like in the oven, but if that's all I have going in the oven, I really don't wanna run my oven for an hour for a baked potato. So I use these Potato Express. They're so easy. You just wash the potatoes and you put them down in the little sleeve there and just kind of tuck it closed and then cook it for about four minutes. It's so easy. I'll check to see if Amazon has these. I'm not sure if they do or not. I think it might've been like one of those things where it's like an as seen on TV type thing that my mother picked up somewhere. But let me know if you've ever tried those. So tonight for dessert, we're making a, it's called a creamicino. I found this one in the Creamy Deluxe catalog and I just kind of tweaked it a little bit for my own. So this is after it's already been frozen. I'm gonna jump back in a minute and show you how I made this. But this is after I've had it sitting in my freezer for 24 hours and I'm just topping it with some fat-free half and half, which is also in it, I'll show you that. And then putting that on, it's gonna go on the cremacino cycle. This is basically just half and half, some sugar, actually I used monk fruit sweetener in it, and coffee, that's all that's in this. And I'm telling you, this is so good. It's literally probably our favorite that we've been having. So after it's been froze for the 24 hours, just put it in there, add the fat-free half and half, put it on full on cremacino and let it start. And that's gonna go for right about five minutes. So while that's going, I'm gonna jump back to last night and show you how you make this. So this one's super easy to do. I'm gonna put, it calls for a half a cup of sugar. So I just use some monk fruit sweetener. So I'm gonna put half a cup of monk fruit sweetener down in the bottom of the creamy pint. It says it's very important to put the sugar in first. Then we're gonna pour in one cup of brewed hot coffee and mix that around until the sugar is all dissolved. Next, we're gonna take some fat-free half and half. It's gonna be about three quarters of a cup, so we want it to about the freeze line. So 
So if you need to add just a little more, go ahead and do that. For the points on this, it's based on one cup anyway. So now just give it another stir. And the top is going on that. And that's going in the freezer for about 24 hours. So when that comes out of the freezer, I always let it sit for about 15 minutes first. It says to fill it to the pour line with coffee, but instead of coffee, we've been using just some fat-free half and half. I don't want it overpowered with the coffee flavor. We just like it with a little bit of the coffee flavor. So we just do either some fat-free half and half or maybe a little bit of sugar-free creamer as well. The sweet Italian cream creamer <laughs> works really good as well. So just play with the flavors, but you want to fill it to about the drinkable pour line. All right, so I have these little, they're just plastic cups. I don't even know where I got these. I think somebody had brought them in with like desserts at work and I just keep rewashing them and using them. So I have some sugar-free caramel syrup that I'm just drizzling in the bottom of the cup and, well, not the bottom, but all around it. For my husband's, I just use a whole bunch, but for mine, I did weigh it out. With this, it's Smucker Sugar-Free Caramel. So I'm using 17 grams worth or one point. It's one point or 39 calories. If you want zero points, you just would could use five grams and that is zero or 12 calories. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It's so good. It's not quite like ice cream consistency. This is called a creamachino. So it's supposed to be a little bit lighter. It's, I would say, not maybe kind of similar to a milkshake, but not quite. So the creamachino itself is only two points or 80 calories. And then that caramel topping, I put some in the inside and then I'm gonna put some on the top as well. So for me, I'm gonna use a point worth, which the total is gonna be 17 grams. So this actually makes enough for three. So I'm setting aside that third serving. And then I'm gonna add the whip topping. So for the whip topping, you can have six tablespoons of this for two points. So I just kind of put some on the top and figure as long as I don't have more than six tablespoons, then I'm good. So for this whole creamachino, it ends up being two points for the creamachino plus the two points for the whipped topping and the one point for the caramel topping. So this ends up being a five point dessert and about 176 calories and it is so worth it. We probably, I would say, have been having this like, I don't know, maybe two or three times a week. That's why I really haven't been making a whole lot of different recipes because we've just really been loving this one. So I'm going to go enjoy this with my husband. This is going to be the last thing I'm having tonight. And let me share with you what I ended up with for the day. I ended up using 28 points out of 23. So I did use five of my weeklies today. I ended up with 1,465 calories and right about 110 grams of protein. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for coming along with me and I'll see you in my next one.